All right, so good morning. Good morning, I'm Casey Jean. This is a gentle chair yoga practice. Go ahead and scoop forward on your chair. Scoop forward just a little bit so you can feel your feet on the floor. And then you might start to just shift your hips left and right. You might lift up a little bit. Just take a few movements and then settle your hips down. Imagine that there's like this straight line pulling from not your chest all the way up. And that just might help you in long your spine. Another trick is to put a hand on the top of your head and press up just a little bit. And it can help create a little length. Go ahead and tap your feet. So alternate your feet like I'm tapping my hands slowly. You're welcome to move at your own pace. Let it be slow. And just allow this gentle tapping to start to settle you in to this practice. Take a moment to observe the, the space that you're in. Look around, see the things that your eyes are drawn to. Things that you might like. Maybe the things you don't like. Allow your feet to rest. And if you'd like, close your eyes or just look down and now draw your focus inward. Begin to sense into your body, just checking in. You might consider it like taking inventory. See if you can notice places of tension. Stay out of the story or judgment or criticism. Just notice. So that might look like I have some tension in my shoulders. My low back feels a little tight. And see if you can notice places that perhaps feel open or neutral. And we'll start with breath. We start with breath because breath is a wonderful tool that's always readily available. Breath allows us to quiet the mind. So begin to first just notice your breath as it comes and goes. Notice how your breath free flows without you needing to do anything at all. See if you can notice the air that just goes just underneath your nose, right above your lip. Can you feel the air right there? And can you get in touch with your breathing at your chest, your belly? You might bring one or both hands to those points so you can physically start to connect with your breath. You might give your breath a simple phrasing, breathing in, breathing out. As you breathe in and out, you know that one, that's an option. And two, you might do that as a tool to help you be focused right here, right now. Not ruminating in the past. Not dwelling, concerned with the future. Just right now, taking life one breath at a time. In. Breath in, breath out.
Go ahead and rest your hands in your lap. You might be closer towards your knees. You choose what feels comfortable, steady. Beginning to move, beginning to move almost like a moving meditation. So all of this is an invitation to do at your own pace. First, lift your shoulders up really high towards your ears, like your stress, and then soften them down. Do that three more times. Lift your shoulders up really high and let it go. If you want to further that emotional release, you can clench your, your fists, your arms are going up towards your chest as you lift your shoulders and then release. Maybe you even sigh. Do that just one more time. And release. And shake it out, shake your wrists. Your wrists soft, your arms soft. Hands can come to your lap again and rest. Let your, cheer, your chin come into your chest. Your ear drop over towards the shoulder. Chin to chest. Ear to the other shoulder. Begin to find your own flow. Ear to the shoulder. Chin to chest. Over to the other side. If you find that your mind is racing or just going off to other places, you might use the phrasing body. Mind is a way to connect you with your body. Take a few more of these. If you'd like, stay on either side for anywhere from three to five breaths and then switch. But you can choose. You might even notice, would you prefer to keep moving? Or do you think your neck would <laughs> appreciate you holding in, in either or both sides for a little longer? In this practice, it's all about awareness of yourself. Slowly bring your head back up. So we do all this movement and start to pay attention to sensations and sounds and your breath as a way to bring you into here and now and to also help you continue this type of relationship with yourself off of your yoga mat space so that when you move through everyday life, you can also notice how it is that you are, how it is that you feel, and then what you need and in taking informed action from there. Begin to bring your arms just by your sides and just move them a little forward and back. And maybe they just go up to about shoulder height. They don't have to go very far. If you'd like, connect with your breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. It could be the opposite of that. Exhale, maybe to lift. And inhale, release. Doesn't matter. Flow your breath. Lifting and lowering. Lifting and lowering. One more. When your arms come about to shoulder height, now press your palms forward like you're going to give me high 10. Ha <laughs> ha. Right ten. Good job. <laughs> Press through the heel of your hand just a little bit, like you're pressing your arms forward. Continue that as you bring your arms out by your sides. Float your arms down by your sides and shake your wrists off. Shake it out. Shake your arms. Shake your wrists. Hands can come back to your lap. Start to draw your torso in large circles. These circles, they could be small, maybe they're large. You're just drawing your torso up and 
ground. Here we're beginning to move into the spine. So maybe you feel this movement from the base of your spine. Just one more in this direction and then switch, go the opposite way. Allow the movement to be at your own pace, your own size. Just start to notice and connect with your spine. How does it feel? What might it need? Last circle. And come on back. Round your shoulders forward, round your spine, tuck your chin towards your chest. Come back up, neutral, tall spine. Now belly forward, heart forward. You might look up. Come back to neutral. Find your own rhythm in between these. So it's spinal flexion and extension, just moving your spine forward and back. Maybe this is also connected with your breath. You could explore that. Breathing to go to one shape. Breathing to go to the other. A few more. Slowly begin to come back to neutral. You can do this with your hands by your side or in front of you. Just start to move your fingers. It might sound a little silly. Just move your fingers. You're seeing if you can move them independently. You might notice that you can, or it's hard. Maybe you can't. It's okay, just notice. Then start to draw circles with your wrists. Again, your hands can really be anywhere. They could even be in front of you by your sides. Notice if your whole arm is trying to do this movement like you're doing a jump rope and see if you can move from your wrist. Opposite direction too. You can continue to move your fingers as you do that, or like kind of crunch your hands. You might notice one hand, the wrist feels a little more stuck than the other. All of this to just simply begin to notice and to check in. All right, shake your wrists off, let that go a little bit. Shake your arms. We go side to side. So we move the spine forward and back. We've gone in circles, moving the spine around. Now we're going to stretch laterally. Bring your arms up. Drop one arm down, doesn't matter which, lean over to that side. So your arm is reaching up and over. Feel the lengthening happening through the side. Your grounded hand can be on the chair or it might just dangle. Come up, lift both arms up. The hand that's down, you can press down through it. Both of your arms, maybe you look up. Other side, ground your hand first. Reach up and over. So you're almost finding like a C curve in your side. Come up through center. Now find your own flow. Just go side to side. Move at your own pace. Not my pace, your pace. Maybe you prefer to hold still in the sides. You could do that. 
few more. A few more, whether you're holding or flowing side to side. Do just one more on each side. And I invite you to stay and hold these sides. You might count your own breath. It could be three breaths, maybe it's five. It doesn't have to be rigid. You don't even have to count. Go to the other side if you haven't switched already. Taking deep breaths. Slowly come up, let both arms go, and then just shake your wrists, your arms, shake it off. Shake, shake, shake. All right. How are you feeling? Check in with yourself. You feel any type of shift or change from even just a little bit ago when we started? Maybe do you, you feel the same? No difference. Still continuing to focus on releasing in our upper body. Bring your arm, just choose one out like a, a goal post or a cactus. This one is a little tricky and it's bringing our shoulder into internal and external rotation. So that's why we'll focus just on one. So your arm is out by your side, shoulder, elbow and just move your arm down. It might not go very far. Allow it to just go to whatever its natural rotation is. So into internal rotation here, lifting your arm back, externally rotating. A few more, bring your arm down and up. Notice if your spine is kind of getting wobbly. I just noted I was leaning a little bit. Maybe you noticed that your body's doing the same. Do just one more. Let your arm come by your side, shake it off. You might roll the shoulder a few times. Just roll that shoulder. If you're like me, it's gonna pop a little bit. I hold so much tension in my shoulders. All right, rest that arm and just Give it a break for a moment. Notice how it feels. Notice the other shoulder, how it feels. And then go to that side. You're bringing your other arm out like a cactus, a goalpost, however you want to consider it. Bring your arm down into internal rotation. Wherever your arm goes naturally, let that be it. Don't crank your arm. Just find a few more. Arm coming down and up. Not using force, not pushing ourselves, right? Like we're, we're not connecting with the no pain, no gain mantra. That's not this class. That's not what we're doing. Gentle movement, meeting yourself where you are. That's what we're exploring. Take one more. Off and your arm down. You might shake the wrist or shake the whole arm. And find some shoulder circles or anything else you prefer to do to release tension in that shoulder. Maybe notice differences in that shoulder from the one you were just on. So for me, this shoulder does not snap, crackle, and pop like a Rice Krispie, whereas the other one does. Just notice what it is for you. You might not notice a difference. It might be about the same. All right. 
bring your hands down. Let's just sway the arms just forward and back just a little bit. Not going really high with the arms, just this way. Now pause to breathe. I invite you to bring your hands either to the side of your ribs or maybe more towards the front of your belly. You can either look down, you might close your eyes. Feel your breath. And without even changing your breath, see if you can feel your breathing underneath your palms. Feeling the rise, the expansion as you breathe in. And the release, almost like a little letting go as you breathe out. And see if you can expand that now, deep in your breath. And see if you can lift your arms or your palms a little bit more as you breathe. Breathing in fully, deeply. Breathing out, letting all of the air go. A few more like this. Breathe in, and if you want, you can even really exaggerate. Let your belly puff out. Breathe out. All right. So we've moved our spine in a circular motion. We moved it forward and back, side to side. And now we'll twist or rotate. A really simple way to do this and safe way to do this without um, going too deep is bringing your hands to your shoulders, fingers forward, thumbs back, and just gently twist to one side. Come back to center and go to the other side. And now at first, let your spine, your head, just stay in the same neutral positions. So they're not turning it to look. It's just moving as if it were neutral, like how it is right now. Continue to move. So this twist, the area of your spine that you're really focusing on is down at the base of your spine, your low back, and then up your spine to about mid back. So your lumbar, and thoracic spine. The next time you go to either side, stay there. You can keep your hands where you are in your twist or allow your hands to now relax. Stay in your twist, but maybe your hands relax to your lap. Soften your shoulders. Take three deep breaths. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Just one more. Breath in, breath out. Come back through center. Pause for a moment. Allow your spine to be neutral and rest before we go to the other side. Hands can come back to your shoulders if you let them go. Twist to that side. And, and like earlier, we're not cranking the movement. We're not forcing the movement. Wherever it goes, let it go. Hands can stay as they are or release down to your lap wherever they just naturally fall to. Three deep breaths on this side. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Slowly come back to neutral. Pause for a moment. Neutral spine. Now fold forward. Let your feet go a little bit wider and just start to come forward. Your hands, your forearms might be in your lap. Just let your spine roll forward. Drape forward. It doesn't matter how far you go. It more so matters how it feels in your back and then how safe you feel. There's no need to push. As soon as you start to feel sensation through your low back, 
a sense of lengthening, almost like a hold. Stay with that. You want to be able to breathe comfortably without holding your breath and clenching your body. Some of you might be able to or want to drape all the way down at your arms, drape towards the floor, maybe your belly touches your thighs. Maybe that's not your experience. There's a full range of motion that you get to explore. This is a good opportunity to let your head hang heavy, to just let it go. You can even find small micro no movements, right? Head left and right. What that's doing is just further allowing your body to relax and let go. Stay here for a few more breaths. And you might notice that the more time you spend here, the more your body naturally rolls forward and lets go. Let's go as it's ready. It's own time. Slowly come up to your seated. Slow and slow. Take your time coming back up. If you feel like there's any type of movement that you want to take to release tension, you are welcome to do that now. Do a little bit of more movement before we settle in for a meditation. Going down into our low body now. We'll cross one leg over the other thigh or <laughs> anywhere below the knee. And so it could be closer towards your ankle. It could be on your shin. Just choose one leg to cross over the other leg. Oh, it might be as high as your thigh. It might not be. And if that's the case, don't grab your leg and crank it forward. Instead, straighten the other leg and cross over at your ankle. Slowly bring your leg up to the leg to whatever point your leg that's crossed says that it's okay. Clearly your leg's not gonna actually speak, but the sensation that you feel, that's the, that's the speaking I'm talking to. All right, so find where you're crossing your ankle over the other leg, anywhere from opposite ankle to the knee, or the thigh, and settle. See if you can soften your legs. Often we'll clench and hold, especially if um, we feel a lot. There's a lot of sensation, there's a lot of tension in our hips. Do your best to soften, unclench. Some of you may want to stay upright. Others, you may want to start to lean forward like we did just a few moments ago. You choose. You might try both and see which is your preferred choice right now, this practice. Slowly come up to seated. Straighten both legs. You might pedal out your legs or shake them a little left and right. As you're ready, switch sides. A great way to come into this, especially if you're new to this or you know you have tight hips, is to keep both legs straight at first. Cross the ankle over your other ankle. That's a really small um, hip opener 
And that's perfectly fine to be there, one ankle crossed over the other. Explore a deeper variation by the leg that's crossed over, the ankle coming up the shin, anywhere from ankle to just below the knee. Maybe you bring the leg up, cross it over the opposite thigh. Again, avoid doing that if you're cranking your leg. It's just simply, um, it's not really helpful. If you have to force your body into it, that's a pretty clear indication that your body just isn't ready for it. So listen to that. And the more you listen to that, and the more you show up and practice and, and dedicate time to nurturing your body, the more mobility you will find naturally. So soften and settle in, try to soften your legs as best you can. You can stay upright, you can lean, folding forward a little bit. Release your head, just let it hang heavy. Allow your body to just get restful. Don't focus on doing or trying. Tapping into being and feeling. rather than the doing and the thinking. Slowly come, make your way up. And any neutralizing movement that you need, you can shake your wrist, your, your arms, your leg, or you find circles, anything at all that just feels like it needs to happen, wants to happen. Before we settle in for a silent meditation, I want to teach you a kind of focus meditation practice that uses, um, uses word and really small movements. You might know these as mudras, right? Using your hands um, almost as like little poses, little yoga poses for your hands. Um, using that to really help you focus and be right here right now because we're gonna use sound, right? Your voice, whether it's internally or if you wanna say it out loud with me. So using voice, using sound, using movement, and breath, because we're using our voice to be here right now. And then using words to help invoke a certain feeling. Okay, so we're gonna try, I wonder how you guys feel, how you wanna feel. Let's go with peaceful. Follow along with peaceful, and if you don't, I all want to follow along with peaceful, make up your, your own word. Choose how it is that you want to, um, what you want to step into, what you want to embrace and embody. It'll go like this. You'll use your thumb and your first finger, touch those together, and then all of the other fingers follow. So thumb, first finger, second finger, third, and fourth. And then we'll combine that with words. And we're doing peaceful. So it'll be, I am so peaceful. And so we're speaking it as if it's already happened. We are already embodying it. We are peaceful. Okay, hands can just be in your lap, relax your shoulders, maybe you shrug them a few times. Maybe eyes closed or you just look down. Take a deep breath in, let it go. Follow along with me. You can say the words internally or externally. I am so peaceful. Again, I am so 
peaceful. As you say the words, connect with the feeling of peace. I am so peaceful. Continue this a few times. If you want to use a different word, that is totally fine. It's, it's more than fine. <laughs> all right, breath in. Breath out, let it all go. I am so peaceful. I am so peaceful. I am so peaceful. Keep going. I am so peaceful. I am so peaceful. I am so peaceful. I am so peaceful. A few more. I am so peaceful. I am so peaceful. Last one. I am so peaceful. Your hands to rest in your lap. Draw in deep breath in. Draw in as much air as you can. Hold that air in just for a moment. When you feel the need to release the air out, let it go. And we'll now continue that. Breathe in really deep. Breathe in through your low belly. Fill all the way. Hold the air. Hold it just for a moment without force. And then let it go. Continue that on your own. Deep breaths in. Hold the air in. Maybe just one, two counts. Let it go. Few more. Maybe you sigh the breath out when you release. One more breath like this. Breathe in deeply, fully. Hold the air. When you feel that need to let go, release all of the air out. Deep, long breath out. Let your breathing go back to its normal pace, its natural rhythm. Settling in for a few moments of stillness, of quiet. If you'd like, you can lay down on the ground. You could use your chair to prop up your legs and lay on back. Or maybe you just want to stay seated in your chair. We'll be silent for just a minute. And if you feel the, the urge to end this video, to end this practice, stay. Especially if you feel like you want to leave. Stay. Embrace stillness for just one minute. So settle your body in however you want to be. Today I'm just going to sit on back, get a little more comfy in my chair. Soften your shoulders wherever you are. Let your body release. No effort. Just ease. Eyes might be closed. If you find that your mind is running, you might just gently say the word ease. Ease. Or 
rest. Begin to notice sensation. Feel where the, either your sit bones are touching the chair. Wherever your body is supported, notice that area. See if you can notice the feelings, the textures of your clothing and your skin, the air on your skin. You might begin to move gently, almost like your first waking up. It's going to be small and grow larger. Perhaps you slowly open your eyes and begin to get reacquainted with your space again. As you slowly come back to transition from your practice, check in with yourself. See how it is that you're feeling right now whether it's physically, emotionally, or energetically. And say it either internally or externally. I feel calm. Or I feel relaxed. Maybe that's not your experience. Maybe you feel anxious. Just note however it is that you feel and acknowledge it for yourself. Thank you for being here. I am Casey Jean, and it's always a pleasure.